hello, let's suppose I'd like to simulate an oscillator circuit. So I'm going to use LT Spice, which is free. And so I open LT Spice. I'm going to click on New Schematic. And then I'm, I think I'm going to use um, two inverters because I know um, you can build an oscillator just with, by using two inverters. So this is a circuit I'm familiar with. So whenever I pick a um, component in LT Spice, I need to to specify what it is. So I'm going to build my inverter, and um, I have to have a value for this resistor. So since I'm going to use 9 volts, I'm going to say I'd like to draw about 10 milliamps when the transistor is fully on. So that makes this about 1K. And uh, very approximately, I'm neglecting some things. But I said approximately. So then I'm going to bias. I'm going to have a bias resistor. So this transistor is uh, in a known state. And I know the transistor has a, a beta of about 100. So uh, let's say I could do 100 a okay, hundred times this uh, resistor to have it the base current one hundredth of the collector current. Let's say just to be safe, I'm going to have a little smaller resistor, 47k. So um, <clears throat> that's a little more current than is uh, necessary. So I'll do this and do this. Of course, I have to have a power supply to power this so i'll use a voltage i'll use nine volts because that's what i like to play with on the bench nine volt battery and complete the circuit here and then like i said i need two inverters to make an oscillator so i'll just make myself another inverter and wire it together now uh so i know to make this thing oscillate i have the output of this inverter which is going to be this node i'm going to couple that back to the input of this inverter and then the output of this inverter is going to be coupled to the input of this inverter and just so uh one transistor doesn't affect the other transistor too much in terms of the um bias i'm going to ac couple these two inverters so i will use a capacitor and uh, i know i have a lot of 0.1 microfarad capacitors playing around so i'm just going to use 0.1 microfarads because of course i'm going to build this and try it out so like i said i'll couple that back to the input and then like i said i will couple that to there and it's very very important in LT spice to have a common node of the circuit to specify it with this triangle and I will run this baby <clears throat> and I'm going to use a transient analysis which is basically a time domain um, simulation and I'll just say 100 milliseconds because okay I'll be honest I built this circuit before <laughs> so I know that's appropriate. So anyway, I hit run, and uh, I don't see any data because I haven't told it what node I'm I'm interested in. So this is a would be an interesting node to see the output of this this uh, inverter here. So I'll click that. What do you know? I have a square wave, so I can zoom in on it, and um, I'm guessing this is two inverters. Uh, and they're wired in such a way where if one is on, the other has to be off and vice versa. So if I click on this other one, look at that. I have a circuit, uh, I mean a signal that's out of phase by 180 degrees. If I want to see um, base voltage, check that out. So that's kind of a cool ramp. Anyway, thanks for watching.